Hi there guys, my name is Adam and you are tuned into The Facial Fuzz. Um, this is the first in my educational series of videos um, and the first one um, is about minoxidil and DHT, which is scaremongering versus science. So stay tuned to learn a little bit more about how our hair grows and also about what effects DHT has on our bodies. Is a bloody good question. DHT is an androgen hormone that is produced in the male gonads and so what I'll do to introduce you to DHT to give you a nice welcome into the world of DHT and give you five facts that you might not know about DHT. Number five, testosterone is turned into DHT by enzymes and roughly around five percent of a man's free testosterone will be converted into DHT. Number four, DHT is five times more potent than testosterone. Number three, DHT is an androgen that gives men their male characteristics. So things like their deep voice, um, facial hair, chest hair, all that good stuff that we as men desire. Number two, DHT causes your hair follicles to miniaturize. In some cases, which we will get onto later in this video, doesn't happen to everybody. And that brings me on nicely to number one, which is more than half of men are likely to suffer from male pattern baldness, um, which is derived from DHT. We'll get onto that a little bit more in this video and obviously explain the reasons behind that. DHT has a range of effects on our bodies, some that are positive and some that are negative. And in this video, I will be discussing in relation to our hair and in particular, facial hair. Now to understand the effects that DHT has on our body we need to understand hair growth in general um, and there are three stages of hair growth and the first is angin which is the actual growth phase itself. Now this lasts between two to six years um, and it is estimated that roughly 85% of the hairs on our head for example are um, in the angin phase and this is then followed by the catagen stage um, which is essentially where the hair follicle renews itself um, so what happens is the hair detaches from the papilla which is a large structure at the bottom of the follicle um, that is made up of connective tissue and capillaries um, and in a sense what happens is the hair is taken away from the blood flow and the nutrients that that blood would bring um, which brings it into the telogen stage which is the third stage um, and this is the stage where the hair will eventually shed from our, from our head. So it rests there for one to four months until it's pushed out by a new hair. DHT giveth with one hand and taketh away with the other. DHT is widely known as a contributing factor to male pattern baldness. Um, in men that are genetically uh, sensitive to that androgen. Now, that is the important part there. It's only in men that are actually sensitive to the androgen. It's not going to happen to everyone. DHT doesn't cause baldness in every single person out there, which is why you don't see the whole world full of just bold men. To kind of discuss a little bit more with you what uh, male pattern baldness is, in short, it's the miniaturization of your follicles uh, on your head. What, it, what happens is that the androgen phase shortens, uh, meaning that the maximum length that your hair can grow to also shortens. The telogen phase lengthens, and over time, this will actually become weighted towards the telogen phase. So from the, all of the phases, you'll see more in the telogen phase. What will happen is that the hair won't actually be able to grow long enough to even poke out through the, the miniaturized follicle. So let's make this relevant again. Um, one of the drugs out there to help treat male pattern baldness is minoxidil. Um, which those of you that follow my videos will know that I am using on my face to try and grow a beard. Um, those that use minoxidil on their head use DHT blockers for the reasons that I specified before um, to stop the DHT to basically miniaturizing their hair follicles and to allow their hair to grow. Um, so you're probably wondering, should I use DHT blockers on my face? The answer is no. Now I know that I've gone around the trees a little bit, I've taken a little while to actually explain it and you're probably wondering why. Everything that I've told you in this video so far is crucial to actually understand the effects of minoxidil and DHT on our faces and our heads. Um, 
with that being said there is a stark difference between using minoxidil on your head and on your face people who use it on their heads also use dht blockers and this is because obviously the dht miniaturizes the follicles on their head which actually cause the effects of male pattern baldness it's the other way around with facial hair. We need DHT in order for our facial hair to grow. So the last thing we want to do is be putting anything on our faces that is gonna block that and halt that progress. Um, with that being said, that kind of brings me on to the scaremongering versus science. Um, a lot of you guys out there who've been researching minoxidil for the beard has have most likely come across two types of people. Um, and they're usually either men who have a beard naturally, um, and it's not all, all many have a beard naturally, but generally it is anyone who says this has a beard already, or they own a clinic where they offer facial hair transplants and they obviously don't want the secret getting out because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, they'll say two things that both contradict each other. They make absolutely no sense. First is that it doesn't work, that it won't work on your face. There's some truth. It doesn't work for everybody, but it does work for a hell of a lot of people. The second one, is that you lose all of your gains once you come off of minoxidil which scientifically doesn't add up as i've explained before dht the androgen that is responsible for making you lose your hair on your head actually causes it on your face so as long as all of your hairs have gone terminal and we'll go into vellus and terminal hairs in another video but as long as all of your hairs are essentially mature on your face then you should by all reasons keep the facial hair that you have at the end of your minoxidil journey if you're actually doing one it's different for people who are using minoxidil on their heads they will have to use a um, dht blocker and minoxidil on their heads for the rest of their lives unless they have the money to kind of buy a hair transplant so i leave it up to you guys you can either believe the science or the scaremongering um, I've been Adam at the Facial Fuzz and thanks very much for your time. If you can hit like if you like this video, um, subscribe if you want to see more of my content um, and share with your friends if you think they'll find this interesting also. Cheers.